One, two, three, four. Let's have a thumb war. Oh, I lost again. It's time for my spanking. You didn't even try, ouchie. Just give me my spanking. <laughs> All right, this time it's really going to hurt, though, buddy. I hope so. I'm Martin Sargent. Clearly, I'm the guy. Duh. Yeah, I'm pretty much the man. Get with it. Yo, what's up? That's red, man. What's up? You've never seen anything like that. Blingo. Blingo? Unscrewed. That's right. to Unscrewed, the show that got me disinvited from my family reunion. I'm Mar that, that's funny to you? Being the black sheep of the family is funny to you? That's my Uncle Franklin's job. As always, my conscious and my confidant, Laura Swisher. Everyone. Thank you. So, everyone. Everyone, not just the people that work here. So, Laura, tonight's show, I, I'm thinking it's a perfect example of why the people back home, the idyllic little village of Spencerport, have begun to sort of question the wisdom of my moving out to wacko liberal California. Begun to question? Begun to question. <laughs> to find, and here's why. The two guests on the TV show that we're hosting tonight are a porn star who's been in over 250 hardcore porn movies and a sadistic clown wearing a balkini. <laughs> A bulkini. I don't think I've heard of it's, a bulkini it's, 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 before. It's, it's a bikini, but if you have balls. Can we see that video again, please? Can we see that? Oh, God. Why did I call it that? That's wow. Alchie the Clown. I don't know if I needed to see it, but... Oh, oh my God. You guys, what am I doing? I did very... Uh, all right. I, I did very well in college. What am I doing? That's Alchie the Clown. We're very glad. And also, uh, Asia Carrera, the porn star. We're very glad to have him here tonight. But where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? I could have been the next Charlie Rose or Brit Hume, for Chris' sakes. Chris' sakes? For Chris' sakes. You could have been a sadistic clown. I could have. <laughs> but it wasn't in the cards. And tonight, we're very pleased to introduce our musical guest. That's right. The Viking Kittens are here to perform their hit single, hey. Take Me to a Gay Bar. Let's have a look. up with the kittens a little bit later in the show. I am so psyched about that act. They are so awesome. I just don't like kittens advocating war. I know. <laughs> Let's start a war. But they're a kittens. <laughs> but first, the news. Now, Unscrewed News with Martin Sargent. Martin Sargent reporting. Major General Song Yong Jun, head of the South Korean military's Defense Security Command, said North Korea is churning out more than 100 computer hackers a year. This is expected to become a huge problem within the next 10 to 20 years when North Korea gets its first computer. <laughs> the hackers are using their skills to become privy to things never before seen in the North, including South Korean military secrets, industrial strategies, and something the hackers are calling food. <laughs> in other Asian computer news, the SARS virus has caused the cancellation of one of Taiwan's biggest technology conventions. Kay Chang, a spokeswoman for the Taipei Computer Association, said, <coughs> Oh, come on, people, it's a joke. Bunch of Taipei personalities here tonight. Ow. In a related story, the uh, city of Toronto remains devastated, not by SARS, but by the fact that it's filled with Canadians. Okay, no more deadly plague jokes. Got it. And finally tonight, workers in Australia's pet industry say the demand for insects as pets has risen tremendously in the past five years. So ladies, don't think of my apartment as filthy. Think of it as an animal preserve. <laughs> and that's the news with Martin Sargent. I'm Martin Sargent. Laura? Wow, Marty, that was, that was great. That was something else, wasn't it, Laura? <laughs> Amazing. I really I outdid myself that time. <laughs> I, uh, well, y as you know, I'm always on the web yeah. looking for things that I Perfect. think might interest you. And I stumbled upon uh, this lovely site. It's, uh, it's called Pinocchio.com. Ooh, I like that. And I noticed one day you had Barbara Streisand on your computer, and I thought... I love Babs. Maybe he, maybe he likes big I'm attracted noses. to the huge nose. And this is a fetish site. Not just beautiful women, but, like, A-list celebrities, like Lara Croft or Angelina Jolie, as like some people provide, like to call her. Lara Croft. My God, I'd like to give her a nose job. Oh, but, um, bump, your friend, uh, <laughs> J-Lo was on there? J-Lo? 
See, you thought that her ass was the biggest thing about her, or her ego, perhaps. Not bad. Who else is up there? Uh, they have everybody. All like the any, big stars any, any are up there. Let's see who can, else is up there. Who else? Who can we everybody. find here? Um, oh, the, how about oh. that? Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Laura Swisher is kind of up there. I've made it. I had no you, idea. You finally made it. Once you get on this side. Yeah, I don't understand this whole fetish thing. I mean, this whole nose fetish thing. Are you into that kind of thing? I am not into it. I, I don't know. I, I, I think people can be whatever, be into whatever they want what to be into. What are you into? Do you have any particular kind of fetish? Um, you know, I guess guys that, that really listen, because I like guys. to talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's my trip right there. Colin Farrell. That's great. <laughs> so if you like big noses, I guess the place for you is Pinocchio.com. That's right. All right. So coming up next, we have... That's right, the porn star, the webmaster, and the self-professed nerd of porn. Mom, you better turn to the PAX channel because Asia Carrera is right after the break. <laughs> Unscrewed. Screwed? Unscrewed. All right, yeah. So you've uh, seen our next guest in such films as The Anal Adventures of Susie Superslut and Wad Busters Part 9. Nerd of Porn, Asia Carrera, welcome to Unscrewed. It's so great to have you here. Asia. So, I mean, let, let's, let's catch up. I mean, what have you been doing? What's the last film that you worked on? Uh, I don't think the titles are going to top those that you found. <laughs> <laughs> but what was it? Is it one that I may have seen? Um, it's so hard to keep track. It's so hard. You don't even remember the last film you did? It's well, all a blur. There's such a delayed release, you know, it takes six months to release them. By yeah. then, I've already done 20 other titles. So, so I guess it's, it wouldn't be a good question to uh, ask you what the plot was, you know? Plot? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, on your website, you refer to yourself as a porn star, a nerd, and a webmaster. Of all those, those monikers, which one do you prefer? Which one do you think is the foremost? Nerd. Nerd? Definitely. Yeah. Been that since do, do, I was a kid, so. do, do you mind being called a porn star, though? No, I am what I am. You are what you are. Do you, do you think that you intimidate guys, or do you think that guys are more apt to approach you, say, at a party because they think that you put out? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, the guys who know anything at all about my career know that I'm a geek, and they know the way to, to get to my heart is to come up and talk to me about computer stuff, not really? about porn. So. All right, so let's talk about computer stuff, all right? <laughs> let's talk about computer stuff. So I was checking out your site, and I can notice it, it's, it's a lot different than other porn star sites. I mean, it offers a lot more. Why don't you tell us about what people can find up at AsiaCareer.com? Uh, well, I wanted to make it different from the standard porno site. So first of all, you're not going to find ads. You're not going to find pop-ups. You're not going to find blind links and circle jerks. So it's got, like, behind the scenes and bloopers and casual at-home, no-makeup stuff. Yeah, and you run the whole site by yourself. You don't have a webmaster working for you. Hell no. That's my baby. I do it myself. And you say that you're the nerd of porn. It's really true. I mean, you actually play Unreal Tournament, correct? Yeah. yeah. Unreal Tournament is like one of the, if you're not familiar, it's one of like the nerdiest games out there. It's like the <laughs> Quake Doom kind of games. So you're a big gamer, and you make your own Quake uh, or your own Unreal, Unreal Tournament skins, right? Yes. Tell me about those skins that you make. <laughs> Uh, I have my own Unreal Tournament bots, which have an Asia face, and they're topless. Why are they topless? Because when I run into the room, the guys all stop and they stare, and then I kill them. <laughs> 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 the Unreal guy said that's cheating, but I don't think so. <laughs> now, do, you, do you go by a particular name when you're playing Unreal Tournament? You don't go by Asia Career, do you? No, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say my name. What, what is it? Go ahead. We can bleep it. <laughs> Mega Bitch Goddess. I think we could say Mega Bitch Goddess. That must have turned. <laughs> you, you have pictures on your site of you working on your computer in your birthday suit. I mean, do you actually do that? Do you compute naked, Asia? I do, in the summertime, if it's hot, yeah, totally. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. There it is right there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. So, uh, yeah, I, I've also heard that you've uh, developed your own video game. It's called Asteroids. <laughs> 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 what, 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 is it more fun than Unreal Tournament? What's Asteroids all about? Well, uh, let me prepare you in advance. It's got Ron Jeremy naked. <laughs> <laughs> the hedgehog. <laughs> have you slept with Ron Jeremy? I have some standards. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the, what's the best thing about being a porn star? Mm. Getting to do shows like this. Getting to do shows like this? Wow, that's a sad life. 
<laughs> after you after you retire from porn, I mean, what, at what age do you get to retire from porn? Are you going to do this for the rest of your life? What are you going to do after that? <laughs> I'm actually pretty close to retiring. Are you really? I am. 29 now. You're 29? That's That's, is that old in porn years? That is about 65 in porno years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just means, you know, people play this game of parties. It's what you, what's your porn name? And it's uh, your first pet and the street that you grew up on. So the first pet is your first name for the porn name, street you grew up on, your second. What would your porn name be, Asia Carrera? It'd be Mush Mush Lippincott, but I think I'd just stick with Mush Mush. <laughs> <laughs> mush Mush Lippincott. Asia Carrera, thank you so much. Got to check out AsiaCarrera.com. You gotta come back, but our, our next guest, our next guest kind of freaks me out. He's a bondage clown, and his name is Ouchie. He's whip smart, and he's wearing assless, le assless leather chaps right now. So, would you do me a favor and stick around to kind of protect me from him? You got it. All right, Ouchie the Clown is coming up next. Stick around, everyone. the clown and so do we now joining asia carrera and myself is ouchie the clown welcome to unscrewed ouchie hey ouchie. How are you doing? so uh ouchie asia asia ouchie oh, yeah, okay yeah. <laughs> so, uh, have you guys have you guys worked together before by any chance uh no not that i know no, of. only the brief the brief beating <laughs> you might not earlier. recognize me though. <laughs> uh, ouchie so are, would you consider yourself a, a happy clown an evil clown Yes. <laughs> All of the above. All right. Can you, you model can your get-up? being evil, right? I guess so, yeah. Can you model your get-up for us? Model? your get-up. Model. I guess we can sit up. there. My get-down. There it is. Uh, this is probably a bad idea. <laughs> that was a bad idea. What do you call that? I, I was calling it a balkini. What is, is that a, thing? This is a posing strap. A posing strap. <laughs> That's the technical name, I think. Hey, when did you first decide that mixing bondage, discipline, hot wax, and boundary pushing with clownage was actually a good idea. Well, I'm still not sure it's a good idea, but uh, <laughs> I started in early 2001. Uh -huh. and, uh, and how many nights a week do you actually dress up like this? Depends on the week, I suppose. Uh, twice this week so far. Twice this week. What was the other event that you were wearing the clown outfit for? Uh, lame local TV show. Local TV <laughs> show. Okay. Whereas this one is a worldwide TV voice? show. So you're not just a domination clown, you're also a professional DJ and a meeting facilitator. True. Tell me a bit about how that works, the meeting facilitation See, part. Believe me, people tend to pay attention to me whenever I'm facilitating a meeting. So, so companies actually... Look at my nose. <laughs> but do companies actually bring you in to, to a boardroom or something like that and, and go through some sort of meeting facilitation? Yes. G give me a, can you give me a case example well, of when you did this? I, I've only actually had a couple of, of, of those sorts of gigs and... Um, Probably the biggest one was was facilitating a town hall meeting for the Burning Man organization. Oh, see, that doesn't count, the Burning Man organization. I thought it was like, you know, GM or something like that. You were <laughs> Ogilvy and Mather called me once. Who? Ogilvy and Mather. So the, the advertising yes. people, right? Yeah. Did you actually go in and do no, something they, for them? they bailed on the last minute. So you're... you're <laughs> <laughs> so you're not just a, a, a meeting facilitator, you're also a DJ, correct? Yes. A disc jockey. That I get a lot of work doing. Y you do? Yeah. So what's the, what's the best uh, music to put on while you're being spanked? Uh, <laughs> I, I like classical music, honestly. <laughs> Like uh, Flight of the Valkyries or something like yeah, that? Yeah, that would yeah? work well. Do you, have, actually, do you actually have a lot of clients, like just, you know, people in the private sector bringing you in to, to actually whip them? I mean, this whole dominatrix thing, it, it's new to me. I mean, are people <laughs> actually doing this out there? You at get least, a lot of work? At least work? for the public. It's yeah. Right. Um, I don't have a lot of one-on-one -on -one clients that, that are repeat clients. A, a couple here and there. More often than not, I'm hired for birthday parties or, oddly enough, bachelor parties. I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> I've done more bachelor parties than I've done any other kind of party. Asia, have you done a lot of this kind of work in your film career, this sort of S&M kind of thing? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not with anyone in a clown suit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> would, you, would you like to get into that, that sort of film work, though? Clown bondage? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, your career is sort of, it's sort of, you're 29 now, you say your career is almost over. This might be a way to, to revive the whole thing, right? 
<laughs> yeah, right. When your face starts to fall, you put on the makeup. Nobody can tell. Uh, Ouchie, do, do you have any any clown idols? You know, people that you've looked at over the years and say, "Damn, that is one fine clown." Well, I'll definitely show my age if I say so. But uh, I always enjoyed Red Skelton. Red Skelton. Yeah, you're like who? No, I've heard of Red Skelton <laughs> actually. What about Ronald McDonald? Does he do it for you? McDonald is. <laughs> he would be a great bottom. <laughs> What does that term mean? What does that term mean, bottom? The person on the receiving end of this. <laughs> Got it. Got it. So, <laughs> in your opinion, anyone out there that is just in a real need of being a bottom on the receiving end of that, someone There's out so there? so many people, a lot of them in our federal government, that are in need of being a bottom, for sure. Mm -hmm. John Ashcroft? John Ashcroft would be one. Definitely. Do you think that John Ashcroft would enjoy being a bottom? He could probably sing while he's doing it. <laughs> So, Asia, do you have any questions for Ouchie the Clown? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ouchie, you know, people <laughs> might think at home that this isn't true, but you actually have a wife at home. I do. Okay, what, what does your wife think about the whole bondage clown <laughs> thing that you got going on? Uh, you should ask her. Uh, I think she thinks it's amusing, silly, funny, weird, strange. Yeah? Yeah. But, but do you do it? I mean, is she into the whole thing? Do you not whip her? Not at all. She's not a player at all. Do you have a, you have a baby on the way, I've heard. <laughs> Boy, it, rumor travels fast, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> Little clown baby. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you're also into something called culture jamming. Culture what, jamming. what is culture jamming? Putting things where they don't belong, uh, like like clowns, for example. Um, we we enjoy going and being clowns in places where you don't expect to see it and where it seems somewhat inappropriate. Uh, one of our recent things that we did was to go to Napa Valley and with 10 clowns and go wine tasting pretending like there was nothing strange at all. Like, <laughs> we're tasting our wine, you know. Did, what, was, did they allow you into all the wineries? Robert Madavi, Robert Madavi personally threw us out. <laughs> he did. He so, did. You're, you're actually not, uh, you're just not the only porn star on the couch. You've actually also been in porn movies, correct? A few. A few? Yeah. Just They're as... really lame, though. Really? <laughs> <laughs> not, not due to anything I did, of course. Is that all you did in the movies, was be your clown and whip people, or did you actually get into more of the kind of, you know, dirtier aspects there of the porn? There were some of the dirtier aspects in some of them, yeah. All right. Dirty. Nasty. All right. <laughs> Head to ouchytheclown.com if you're looking to hire Ouchie as a DJ, a meeting facilitator, or if you're just in need of a beating. Right now, let's see what Laura and Kevin have to say. Thanks, Martin. We're going to switch gears from spanking to pranking, and we have with us here the dart tipper, and I think you've got something really fun for us today. That, that clown scares me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan. I'm, Are you I'm, rattled? Are you now unable to proceed? Well, because you know, I'm, I'm a hacker. I see a lot of crazy stuff on the Internet, but he, he just scares he me. He takes the kit. Wow. I'm not a big fan. Anyway, let me show you what I got going on today. Do you, are you into hacking? You oh, like I'm to... totally into hacking. That's kind of hot. I've, n I've never done it, but I'm into it. It yeah. turns me on. All right. Well, I'm going to show you how to hack someone's computer today. We have our target machine right here. The enemy. This is the enemy, the person yes. that we're going to hack. And we have our machine, this nice little laptop right here. What we're going to do, step one, is you have to email your friend a file called patch.exe. Uh -huh. And what happens is, is they run this file, and it installs a backdoor onto their system so that you can get into their system and, like, get in there and access their files. And let me show you what it does here. Let's fire up the program. This program is called Netbus Pro. And see here, we have Marty's PC here. Oh, sweet. And we've connected to Marty's PC because you've emailed that file to the friend. They've actually run it. You have to talk them into running the program. Right. Call them up on the phone and say, hey, just run this little program. It's great. It won't do anything. And it won't even let them know that it's been s installed on the machine. For Marty, all you have to say is, look, Bress. And then he clicks it. Yeah, and just, that's... just <laughs> rena rename the file from patch.exe to breast.exe. Right. We're gold. Boom. <laughs> so what we do is once we're connected, we go into the control here. And if you see here under cool functions here, we can do all kinds of things. We can... Uh, let's close this out here. We can open uh, the CD-ROM drive. Let's see here. Go into CD-ROM and go open. And take a look here. When they're sitting there, it's wow. just going to open their CD-ROM drive randomly. And you can do all kinds of things. We can even launch URLs. Check this out. If we go under here, under go to URL, uh -huh. and just type in any URL we want. Here we'll go playboy.com, click OK, 
and it launches the URL on their screen. Now they have no idea this is happening. So you could totally get them at work, oh, like if they live, if they were in a corporate environment. Boom. Yeah, even though these machines are next to each other, doesn't mean they have to be next to each other. You can get your friend all the way across the United States or anywhere in the world as long as they have this installed in the machine. That is so cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now we pulled it on. Uh, we got Prager. Sweet. You got, you got to get Prager. <laughs> I mean, everybody hates Prager, but. Uh, I yeah. almost feel sorry for him. And yet I don't. It's Prager. <laughs> it's Prager. Let's, it's Prager. Let's, let's show them what we did. We, we actually put a camera under Prager's desk, so we could, let's check that out. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just kept opening the CD-ROM drive at this point. <laughs> <laughs> He's like getting pissed off. Kevin, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> yeah, he it's no longer a no, secret. He no now knows. He gets a little pissed. He knows that I'm messing with his computer. I mean, it's it's, it's obvious by now. Until but. I start <laughs> screwing around with him, then. I put this on your machine as well. I've seen some of your emails. What? They're pretty nice. Yeah. How do I know that you're on? What well, do I do to protect myself from you? It's 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 kind of tricky. There's some instructions. I put the article at your website, but uh, it's actually a tricky process to remove it, which makes right. it good for me because I can get any time. People should go to the website mm -hmm. uh, techtv.com/unscrewed, and you can get more tips from the Dark Tipper, Marty. All right. Thank you, Laura and Dark Tipper. <laughs> now, yeah. D tip. Sorry. <laughs> Y you like me. You really, really like me. And I've got the emails to prove it. Stick around. State of not being screwed, the anti screw. Unscrew. The, the, the show's been on, what, about a week now? And I think we were all shocked when we got our first email. They've been starting to trickle right. in. Why don't we share one from the many fans out there? Laura is hot. We should see more of her. We should see more of her on the show. In fact, it should be unscrewed with Laura Swisher. You can still do the bit parts. Laura, did you write this? No, I did not. I emphatically did not. We're going to talk after the show. That's tonight's emails. We'd like to thank our guests, Asia Carrera, Ouchie the Clown, and the Dark Tipper, Kevin Rose, Laura Switzer, you rock. You Goodbye, rock. everyone. And you go, I walks up in the club.